Hello my friends, my name is Catherine and today I am doing a resin pouring video. I recently mixed up a little bit of resin and I've got some extra left over so I'd like to pour it in this bezel that I had lying around. Um, I didn't have a plan for it but I hate to see things go to waste so I went and raided my bird cages for a couple of feathers and I found some that are actually nice that they dropped that aren't completely torn apart, which is not the usual case. Most of the times, uh, the birds, by the time the feathers get dropped, the birds have torn them apart. They're not normally in <laughs> good condition, but every once in a while you'll find one that is nice. And that is the case with some of these. Uh, most of these are actually off of Jubilation. She is kinder on her feathers than the other two. Um, like so. Those are all Jubilation. This one is Fury and this one is Blueberry, which you can't hardly tell, but that's because it's a super light blue because Blueberry is a super light blue bird. There we go. Let's actually pull this back into center there. That's better. Sorry I was out there a little bit. All right. So what I am going to do is I think I've decided on that feather, although that one's kind of nice. Mm. You're not going to be able to see them very well against this green background because Jubilation happens to be a sort of teal green blue color. She's not as blue as Blueberry, but she's not as green as Fury. Um, she's sort of in between. Anyway, let's load this bezel up with resin. And spread it around so we get an even base to be starting off with at least who knows where we'll end up it's an adventure an adventure I say perhaps I mean who knows who knows where we will end up all right I think I do kind of like this one it's a little bit bigger I think it might be a little bit too big let's trim the shaft of the feather down a little bit and take off some of these really fuzzy parts because those go a little weird in the resin I don't know if you've ever tried doing case resin or bird feathers in actual or actual bird feathers in resin before but the fuzzy bits right at the end can go a little weird if we just trim it there we have it okay and then take and settle it in and oh nope okay lift it back up and try more on a curve Try and see if we can't get it to curve around a little bit and fit in just a little bit nicer. Okay, and then this is what we use tweezers for. We just want to arrange the spines of the feathers, or of the feather, so that they end up just flat and nice and even, hopefully kind of, sort of. Press it down evenly all the way around. There we go. And then I think I want to use Blueberry's tiny blue feather to fill in right over there. Let me trim off a little bit of the fuzzies on this one too, because those fuzzies just gum everything up. And then I'm going to drop it in with the tweezers themselves, because this one's itty bitty and I want to position it position it like I mean it there we go okay 
All right, and then I think I want to include a feather from Fury too. And this is the this was the nicest one I've got. Fury tends to be hard on his feathers, which is fine. It's just who he is. All right, and let's drop that in right there, and then kind of tuck everything around, and then bring it together. and make it kind of look nice. Like we know what we're doing. Like we aren't just messing with things. There we go. Okay. Everything is settled down. Now I want to add a little bit of resin on top. I want them to be encased. Go. I don't know if I want to dome it just yet. I usually end up just doming it because I hate having to mix up more resin later. It, it frustrates me to do things in like timed layers. Like layers when you're doing layers all at once is all right, but I don't have the patience to wait for, for resin to cure. Nobody has that kind of time. There we go. That's a little better. It's a little parted there. Okay. So how are you liking this closer in thing for resin working? Because the resin ends up being so small. I do tiny things with resin tiny itty bitty things with resin and you can't see them if you aren't close can't see them anyway but you can't especially can't see them if you aren't close enough to see them go this way a little bit it's kind of arranging things seeing if i can't get them to lie a little nicer flatter more even this just about uses up this resin which is awesome because now I don't feel so bad about having mixed up too much because it's not too much it's just right let's scoot blueberries feather more into the center can't hurt there we are and then this ended up with kind of a lot of bubbles in it, which is not super surprising. Feathers tend to breed bubbles. Feathers and bubbles go hand in hand. All right, let's curve that around there. Just make sure if we everything's even and nice and it should sort of self level but the feathers are also going to want to be follow their natural curve which sometimes means lifting up off the background which is actually kind of nice because the thing about resin is it's a 3d media it's not just one layer it's um Because the resin is a 3D media, the feathers can curve how they normally would, and they get represented um, the way that they are going to, uh, how do I put it, they get, they're shaped how they would be when they were laying against the bird. There you go. That's what I wanted to say. All right, and then because of all these bubbles, I'm going to take a lighter and see if we can't just pop some of those. Get a little bit of a clearer cast, hopefully. There we 
I like to take my time with this part, make sure everything rises to the surface. I'll probably come back in a minute or so and do this again because anything that's risen will have will be able to be popped again and there is a hole right there there we go where the feather was naked because a bubble had been separating it from the air rather than resin. Yes, that's what I meant to say. A bubble had been separating it from the air rather than resin. All right, so let's slide a bit of white paper underneath this and show you how it turned out. Even with the white paper underneath it, you can't hardly see blueberry's feather. It's a really pale blue, but that is what we end up with. Let's bring it a little bit closer. There you go. All right. What do you think? A nice little memento, a keepsake to keep my bird's feathers in. I can't wait to see how it cures. I think it's going to be good, but it's hard to say at this stage. Who knows? Things can always, always move around on you and get weird. But that's what I did today. Why don't you go ahead and tell me what you're doing today? I would love to hear from you. And remember to subscribe, and I will see you guys all later. Bye!